Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about velocity and speed, a few of our most basic and most important motion variables. Uh, you should already know about uh, variables related to where something is, position, displacement, and distance. Velocity and speed tell us about how something is moving. So we're going to just get into the physics definitions of all of these variables, but first we need to talk about another important variable, and that is time. Uh, time is, well, if position is where you are located or where an object is located in space, time is when something is located, when an event happens. The variable for time is a capital T, um, and the SI unit for time is the second. Unlike position, time is a scalar because you don't have three seconds to the north, time just time just goes forward. Time is when something is. It's pretty much the same old definition you know, but it is important that we define time clearly. Once we have defi defined time clearly, uh, we can talk about velocity and speed. Now, uh, the most important variable, the more important variable I should say, is going to be velocity. Uh, the variable we use for velocity is uh, capital or lowercase v, that is. Uh, sometimes we also use lowercase u for initial velocity, but for general velocities, we'll use v. Velocity tells us how fast we're moving, how fast an object is moving, but also the direction that the object is moving in. And that's the standard definition. If you're uh, driving in your car down the highway and your speedometer says, 45 miles an hour, you're probably going a little bit slow. Your velocity is going to be 45 miles an hour, but you also need to include the direction that you're moving. So 45 miles an hour north or 45 miles an hour south because velocity is a vector. Is a vector, we do need a direction. Now how fast an object is moving is the lay definition and that is correct, but we also want to talk about a, a very important physics definition. Velocity tells us the rate of change of position with respect to time. That is, how quickly our position is changing. And that's, that's very important because your velocity is very, very closely related to our position. So if we know something about position, we can know something about velocity. Um, because velocity is the rate of change of position with respect to time, it's going to have units of length divided by time, distance per unit time, uh, so the SI units are going to be meters per second. Remember, velocity is the vector form, so we always need a direction for it to be the velocity. Speed is often, uh, often thought to be the same as velocity. In physics, it's not the same. Speed is the scalar version of velocity, or the magnitude of the velocity. It's just how fast you're moving doesn't include direction. Whatever your speedometer says in your car is your speed. If it says 45 miles an hour, then you're moving 45 miles an hour. But of course the units are going to be the same because speed is just the magnitude or absolute value of velocity. Um, now, if we want to calculate velocity, well, uh, sometimes that gets difficult because, for example, if you're driving in your car, you're going to be speeding up and you're going to be slowing down. So at every different point in time, you might have a different velocity and a different speed. So in order to simplify our calculations, we are going to define these quantities that tell us about the average velocity and average speed. So let's start with average velocity. Um, and we're going to uh, we're going to use the variable v with a bar over its head, or v bar, to represent average. And really, in general, if there's a bar over a variable's head, that often means that it's an average value. Now, the average velocity tells us something uh, for a particular motion. Well, it's defined as displacement divided by time for a particular motion. So here's our equation right here. Velocity is displacement over time, or delta x over delta t, as we can see over here. And that's it. That's the definition. Um, it is a vector, and it tells us what constant velocity that we would need in order to achieve the correct displacement vector in that exact amount of time. So for a particular motion, if, for example, I go around a 400-meter track in, uh, let's say, about three minutes, um, my average velocity is going to be displacement over time. It's going to be 
zero because my displacement is zero when I go around that track one time. On average, I was not moving at all for that period of time. Average speed is a scalar version kind of related to average velocity. It's just going to be the distance divided by time for a particular motion. So average speed is distance over time. And it tells us the constant speed that we would have to travel at to give us, uh, to, that would result in the given distance in that specific amount of time. So if I were going 400 meters, uh, 400 meters, went around a 400 meter track in three minutes, then my average speed, I'm going to do it off to the right here, average speed is going to be equal to 400 meters over three minutes. And that's going to be about 1.33, I'm running out of space, meters per minute. That's that. I'll work some more complicated examples in another video. Hope that's helpful. Bye.